G'day, g'day. Hope you guys are all having a good one. Um, today we're going to be doing a super simple terrain. Um, we're just going to be making a nice desert. This is super simple, pretty basic. Only a couple nodes here. Uh, I guess the idea behind this terrain was what's something simple that doesn't require too many uh, nodes that still looks passable, pretty decent, pretty solid. And yeah, so we're going to be exploring this. It's at this point it's just a basic base and warp really simple not too complex just going into erosion which is adding some extra details adding some sediment with alluvial erosion and then lastly some water which gives it a little bit of sand detail in those i guess extra sandy dippy pit dippy pits there yeah. Um, otherwise really simple colorized just singular color that's all you need um, but yeah let's go make this so starting off what we're going to be doing is we're just going to remove this master occlusion because we don't need it let's set this to just be a single color and we'll just set it to be something simple maybe white just so it's a bit easy to see next up we want to make the rough design of what we want the sand dunes to be kind of shaped like so i think looking back at what we uh the original one that i made was i like it being quite um spread out uh relatively sharp not overly sharp and just really like wavy almost so wait so first off we're going to start off with the warp noise what we're going to be doing here is there's multiple ways either you know rotation folding output warp amplitude so forth they can give you a nice result but we can just lower some of these and they'll give you a bit of a nice bit of a nice look here you can move it around as well so i might just play around with some of these awesome after that i'm just going to hop into the base and we're just going to decrease the scale a bit just so we can get a nice result there that looks pretty good um next up i might increase the smooth uh decrease the smoothness i should say so now that will give it some nice uh, it gives it a bit of a nice um peaky part there so after that i'm gonna add some maybe might do some relative height might give it a bit of a nice look might play around with the scale a bit more as well otherwise decrease the amplitude and that's just going to remove some of this noise necessary noise that we kind of don't really need for something like this so i might just play around with this a little bit this is gonna give you a bit of a nice sandy texture to it if you want but i might just lower that a bit play around with it but find something that that may interest you but i might just play around with one next up i'm just gonna increase the resolution just so i can see a bit more out of this sweet so otherwise let's play around with maybe the seed and we can see if we can get a uh, design that we kind of like uh let's see what we like now play around with the scale a bit more the height there we go that's a bit nicer i believe let's move on to adding a fast erosion and this will give some it'll sort of break up some of these peaks here break some of it up add some streaks and detail to some of the uh, i guess the shapes give it a bit more of a body so let's go drag in a fast erosion we can just preview it here now from the get-go it's it's not at all what we want what we want to do is just decrease a whole lot of this make it something not too we'll, we'll give it a bit of detail and depth to it but we won't make it too um crazy just a little bit of detail just to break it up a bit so changing some of the initial scales so let's see what's looking good maybe something like that scale size we can decrease it a decent bit gives a nice nice little sandy peel to it and decrease the intensity almost what else do we like maybe add some intensity randomization maybe some scale that's not changing too much maybe stroke density so this will decrease the amount of strokes 
There we go. That's not looking too bad, actually. So it's just broken it up a little bit. Made it so it's not so uniform. Might almost increase the sharpness. There. It's looking not, not half bad, actually. Sweet. So next we want to add a... Alluvial erosion. So this will just add a bit of um, sand in these pits areas. I mean, uh, from the get-go here, it looks pretty nice. I mean, if I drag that in there, add the detail, change the colorize, and we can play around with it later, but let's just give it something like that for a basis. It's already looking not half bad, but let's go and grab this alluvial erosion. Here we go. This will take a minute to load in, but there we go. So we can see a little bit of detail coming in there. Just adding the sediment. So playing around with that. Oh, it's actually pretty solid at the moment. We can play around with it. So let's see. See what these different details will do. So increasing the detail. It kind of draws it away. We want something like smooth and flat, just like a lot of sand. When a lot of sand comes in, it's generally quite smooth. So maybe increasing this, see what we can get. Maybe not that. Maybe let's see what more does. That's actually not too bad. Might decrease it a little bit more, but from the get go, that's pretty good. Maybe what about 128? Yeah, that's pretty good. Play around with these, some of the inertia. Maybe the gravity. So from here on, we're going to go add a filter water. And this will give it a bit of um, depth and detail to the sand here. Because at the moment, it's pretty flat. You're not really seeing too much. It's a bit too bare bones at the moment. So let's go add that. Filter water. We can drag this on. Here we go. So now we've already got a bit of detail. Surely that's nice. We can... Play around with some of the details, so let's see what happens when we increase this. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Play around with the iterations. There we go, that's looking not half bad. Let's increase the emission amount, what happens when we do this? There we go, so that breaks it up a little bit, so let's decrease that a bit. decrease the water influence there we go play around with some of these yeah lowering oh what's you can either have quite a bit but i might lower this quite a bit and that's just going to help make it blend a bit bit more depending on where we're wanting it Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So this is overall what the result I'm going to be sticking with here. So just to add some final touches. Now, once again, this was very simple, very basic. Um, I didn't want to mess around too much just because this is one of the first ones. And, you know, I don't, but it's always good to start with easy and then work upwards. So here we're going to go to the colorize and we're just going to unsleep that. Let's change this to be a nice yellow play around with it. I think I want like a yellowy orange. I mean, that's pretty good already. I might play around with it a bit. Now, I want it to be relatively desaturated. I mean, you can go really crazy if you want, but um, that's not necessarily the look that I'm wanting to be going for. Let's go here. Desaturate it a little bit. Yeah. That's already looking pretty damn sick. I might increase the resolution and we'll go towards, you know, just fine-tuning the looks of it but uh you know otherwise the terrain itself is pretty much where i want it to be so let's increase the resolution while we wait for that uh i'm gonna set it up so i'm ready to mess around with the renderer here now at the moment this is just for pure visual like visual uh, this is not at all this is you know already complete already finished if you want to export this out you can always go and export you know via either height map or you can be going and exporting as a mesh if that's what you wish and then you can always drag in the color as well if you want to export the color with it but i want to make it look a little bit fancy so we're just going to be playing around we're going to now it's at 4k got a bit of nice bit of detail here 
Now, if you, you can always decrease the sharpness and stuff like that if you want to increase the visual look of it all, uh, make it a bit more noticeable. You can always decrease it as well if you want to make it blend in a bit more. Um, it's going to be changing this up to path tracing. Play around with the lighting. Now, uh, it's a little bit too overbearing, but let's see. If we drag it around, where's it going to look pretty nice? There we go, that's pretty good. Let's change the penumbra. Mess around with some of these, the sky intensity if we want. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. We got a nice result. It looks good. You can always increase the size of it if you want a really big map. There you go, you got a nice big loads and loads and loads of pretty awesome looking sand dunes i might actually increase up this up to 4k see what this looks like but overall pretty happy with how it came out hopefully you guys feel the same and hey if you guys have extra ideas you want to add upon it feel free you can always add some bushes some shrubs like i've done um previously i might actually go into trying to do that but i'm not too sure if i'm going to get a result that i'd like um but yeah overall i think it looks pretty good um can always decrease the fluvial erosion and water to remove some of these pits here but i think overall the whole idea of it comes along i think overall it looks pretty sick uh we're just going to increase it to 2k and we're going to see what we can do with some shrubs not too sure if we can get a result that i like with it though haven't tried that um so just going and adding a uh what's it called a splatter node once again, it always goes to the import height map, which is not where we want. We want the base map, because we can already use the hemisphere. So we're just going to go there, import that into there. Awesome. Might just select that just for ease. Uh, let's go decrease the size. We're going to go decrease the amount. So that's just going to be overall visibility chance. Gonna decrease the height as well. Maybe the scale. And play around with it. There we go, there's a pretty nice. Overall it's not gonna look great because of the simple case of, you know, <laughs> these are shrubs and it. it's just made of height. If you actually added shrubs, it would look maybe even better. So just masking it. We can add some maybe I reckon a height. Would do pretty good. Yeah, maybe occlusion, slope. We'll do a height though. See how this comes out. Decrease it. We only want it in these specific areas. So in these gaps here. So I'm just going to once again revert that like this. I'm going to go over here. See what this looks like. So at the moment we need to decrease the uh, the range on the uh, mask because at the moment it's just going everywhere and kind of ignoring the mask so let's just scroll down here visibility from mask we can decrease it uh, add some spots there maybe that looks pretty good couple nice shrubs there we can color these however we want really so that'd just be a case of going dragging this in here color colorize add the mask here and put that here we go so now we've got some nice bright orange shrubs but hey we can go play around with if we want green and go set for some desaturated maybe greeny shrubs here that's kind of look that we we're going for maybe we want some like yellow shrubs here it's gonna look good Maybe something like that. I'm not too happy with it, but overall you kind of get the idea. Um, gives you a bit of a different look and hey, maybe, maybe it's what you wanted, maybe it's not at all what you want and hey, that's, that's kind of the whole idea of it. 
I mean, honestly speaking, you can go mask, add a, um, you can export the mask here. And if you exported the mask here, you could probably, um, add your own literal shrubs into your DCC software or like, you know, Unreal Engine. Just use this as a mask to get the basis of where you want your, um, shrubs to actually be coming. Um, because if you wanted to add literal shrubs, this would give you a nice little look there, but hey, um, maybe that's what you like, maybe it's not what you like, and it was just playing around, you know. It's all about playing around, getting a result that we may like or may not like. Never know until you try. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope it's been interesting. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the result that we got. Um, you know, shrubs could be better, but hey, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope it's been informative. Anything else you want to see? Uh, just, hey, flick us a message in the comments. Uh, I think the next uh, terrain that I want to be trying and making would be a mountain. I've done some stuff outside of stuff on my last stream. I'll just quickly bring that up. Here. Yeah. Here is some of my last things that I made on stream. So go check out my last stream if you want to see something more, you know in detail more depth more stuff like that um pretty happy with how these came out but i think at the moment they're a bit advanced for what i want for these um things and you know trying to remake something uh, this was quite a big setup so i think it took me overall maybe an hour and a half to two hours to make this so uh, quite a lot to it and i think it'd be kind of hard for me to go and edit this all up and make it into tutorial length so hey Go check out my last live stream if you want to see some more detailed terrains and it's not really a tutorial or anything like that but you can see the process i went through and you get the exact uh values i used and that maybe will give you a better result but here i'm just playing around with these you know i have an idea i have a basis and i just play around with that uh so yeah thank you guys for watching have a good one and we'll catch you next time see you